I think my holy grail of science would be finding a cure for Huntington's. This is something that I've been thinking about since I was 12. One day after school, I was home alone and I found a VHS tape uh, and it just said Huntington's disease on the spine of the tape. So I popped it in the VCR and it was a video of Nancy Wexler and a bunch of scientists who had gone to Venezuela searching for the gene. That is how I learned what Huntington's was. I saw people that their movements were very similar to members of my family and I kind of put two and two together and I asked my mom about it and she said, yeah, your uncles have Huntington's. So the spark that made me want to study Huntington's was the fact that people in my family could get it. I definitely am a yes person. I like to say yes to things. And I think it's true if you're willing to step outside your comfort zone, you're going to be presented with a lot of opportunities. The most recent example of that is I've been on the bench for 15 years, but it's only been in the last few years that I started doing research with fruit flies and learn an entirely new model system. You can use fruit flies to study something called the extracellular matrix, and that's stuff that sits outside the cells. And usually when people think of a brain, they think of neurons, right? These are the primary cells that are affected by Huntington's. Only 80% of the brain is made up of cells. The other 20% is extracellular matrix. From fruit flies, I am learning that there may be deficits in the cells that make up the brain barrier around the outside of the fruit fly brain. And there are specific proteins that might be dysregulated in this process, and we can perhaps target them therapeutically. I hope my research can be a game changer in the way that we understand Huntington's. I think coming from an HD family and being an HD researcher, it gives you a unique perspective. It gives me a lot of drive to do patient outreach. So I not only work in the lab, but I, I'm really involved in the HD community. I put on events with a local HD organization here in Orange County. I write and edit for a website called HD Buzz to translate scientific findings for the lay community. I'm incredibly honored to be chosen by the individuals associated with HDF for this award. Organizations like HDF are needed to advance a cure for HD. They understand what needs to be done, what are the important questions that need to be asked, and they also foster a sense of collaboration within the field, which is really critical when you want to move a disease field forward fast. We're at the forefront of maybe not a cure, but finding a treatment. And I think that is critical. We're at a critical place right now, and I think that's the hope that we should be offering families. I became a scientist to find a treatment or a cure for Huntington's. That's the end of that story. Like, literally, that's the only reason I became a scientist.